Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to get, continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you and your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, guys. So we are going to continue the energy. I posted some messages, um, some videos today. I feel narcissists are very heavy in the energy right now. Um, narcissists that don't want to let go. Narcissists that don't want to understand that no is a two letter, one word sentence. Okay. <laughs> they just don't want to get the hint. Um, so this is a continuation of the last energy, um, that I posted about your narcissistic ex wanting to love bomb you. And here we go. So the energy that's coming out right now is the King of Swords. This quite honestly, collective is your energy. This is an honest and upright energy. Actually, this is you at this moment. You're honest, authoritative, analytical, fair, um, and you're accurate. Um, this sword here, this is the king of swords, obviously. Sword represents air communication. Air communication is words. Y'all are saying something. What are y'all saying? <laughs> I feel like somebody out there is telling your ex off. Um, but quite honestly, that's what I've been feeling in the energy today. Y'all are saying, no, I don't care what you want. X, you might be a narcissist, but I don't care. I'm not giving in. I'm not going to give you what you want because you don't want me. You just want the benefits of me. I think y'all are out there saying your piece. And I, I uploaded a video earlier today specifically to tell somebody to do that, to not stay quiet, to speak your piece. And I think y'all are out there doing it. Good job, collective. I'm so proud of y'all. Thank y'all. That lets me know that y'all are really getting the messages that spirit needs you to get. Um, this is beautiful. Stay in that King of Swords energy. I also feel uh, the energy of the Four Swords. Um, quite honestly, that resonated with me as well. After I posted my videos, I went and meditated and rested. I feel like y'all are doing that too. It's like, I, it's like I said what I said. Nene Leaks. <laughs> I said what I said. And then you're moving to Four Swords. Meditation. A period of peace and calm. You know, maybe you take today as your Sabbath. Maybe today you take off dealing with your ex and all the stuff that you got going on, right? I feel like you guys are doing that. But you had to first say what you had to say. And I'm telling you, the downloads that I got this morning told you specifically to do that. So good job. You said what you had to say. You dropped the mic. <laughs> and then you went on about your day. However, this fool over here. <laughs> Here's your ex's energy. The fool in the inverse um, this person is still being reckless, foolish, risky. That's, that's how they roll. And like I said, this is a narcissist. They don't want to accept no as a two letter, no a one word sentence. You know, that's just the energy that they carry. Um, but they're also in the nine of wands in the inverse now, which is interesting because nine of wands came out yesterday, which means they feel like the wounded warrior, they need to defend themselves against you. Now it's in the inverse, but it's no coincidence that it's after you spoke up and said something collective. This is your energy. You're saying what you said, um, connected to the video uh, that I uploaded where spirit was giving these messages. Say your peace, speak your peace. Do not stay quiet. That's how narcissists win. They bank on you staying quiet. They bank on you keeping your secrets and you spoke out. That's why they're in the nine of wands in the inverse. They are weak. They got to drop their defenses. Good job collective. They need to drop their defenses about this partnership that's in separation. You spoke out. You said, no, we are not getting back together. You're a whole crazy psycho stalker ex and a narcissist. No, I don't want a narcissist for my, for my partner. As a matter of fact, you're not my partner. I believe y'all said that. And it's like this two of cups is not in the upright and it's right under you. This is confirmation collective of what I'm saying to you right now. You spoke out and you said, no, we are not getting back together. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do, fool. <laughs> fool in the inverse. But here they come. Narcissist. <laughs> nine, nine of pentacles in the upright. Remember when I told y'all, I, I uploaded the video the other day. Remember when I told y'all they're going to come back saying, baby, baby, please. I will be your peace. I will be your protector. I will be your provider. We, we can do this thing. Baby, just come back to me. <laughs> Remember I said that? Here they go. <laughs> here they go. Here they go. And this is what you had to take a break from and a rest from right here, quite honestly, because falling out right under this four sword, you're like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I want to hear it. Not a pinnacles. This person is trying to come to you. I'm, I'm hardworking. I'm dependable. 
Puppy, your provider, baby. It's going to take some time. We got to work this thing out, though. I will be there for you. <laughs> this is what they're saying right now. But y'all got to know, if y'all are following my readings, if the energy is funky and it comes out in the upright, this is not an upright energy. This is the fake out. This is the ploy. Okay? I need y'all to know that. So I'm going to read the energy exactly as it should be. Nine of Pentacles in the inverse is somebody lazy, materialistic, and shallow. They're shallow about you, and that's what you have to take a break from. Confirmation, Ace of Swords in the inverse. This person is cold. If you go back on my video that I uploaded earlier today about your ex, um, what's the, he, wants, he, he doesn't want you for the right reasons. This is why. Ace of Cups in the inverse. This person has no emotion for you. He's only wanting to come and get one thing. And I had a download right before, uh, right before I'm recording this video right now. He feels, or she feels, take the energy as it resonates, that you took something from them and they want it back. Now, collective, I, I, I really don't want to be in you guys' <laughs> sexual business. However, in the energy, I constantly keep getting the energy that a lot of these relationships that you guys are were in were sexually based or if not sexually based the connection was fire between you guys sexually it was like good sexual chemistry this is what i'm the download that i got right before i recorded this video this person has no and, and we're talking specifically about the narcissist mind you this, this foolish ris risky you know uh, reckless person they don't actually love you but they want, they feel like you took something from them and that was that sexual inner, inner, uh, energy. I can't even say the word. I called this out the other day in one of my readings because I felt in the energy a pull in their solar plexus and sacral chakra, sacral chakra specifically for the sexual you know, energy that you provided to them. That's what they want. They don't want anything else but that, you know some people might decide to go back for that maybe you know that's a thing however there is no actual genuine love here that's the fake out and that's why i'm trying to tell y'all when i just want to make sure y'all understand that's how they're going to come to you i'm baby i'm gonna provide for you i'm gonna be there for you i'm gonna be your peace just give me some time baby just give me some time time equals i just want you in the bedroom and that's it and i just need to be frank about it to tell y'all because it's coming out next to the ace of cups for somebody this is somebody's narcissistic ex that's coming in with the fake lies the fake i'll be there for you no they won't which is exactly why this energy is coming out five of swords defeat and it's it's because of what you said collective and thank y'all for heeding the message that spirit just try, spirit's trying to give to you today tell this fool no <laughs> Because this person, this is the narcissist now. This person is trying every trick in the book to try to get you back. But it's not you they want. It's your sacral chakra. It's your sacral energy. It's your sacred sexual energy. That's all they want, collective. But they are, because you spoke out and you said something, you saw this fake out move. Uh, the energy that they are carrying right now is the Five of Swords. Notice how this is coming out right under the Nine of Wands. Because you spoke out, you said something, and like, I said what I said, I'm standing on it, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you Five of Swords, though, right under the Nine of Wands. They feel weak, they gotta drop their defenses. Oh, but wait, there's more. Here they come again. Knight of Swords in the upright. <laughs> This person is going to try to cause you some type of conflict. They're going to try to come with some pettiness. They're going to try to say something rude and reckless out their mouth. Notice how... All right, check this out. Look at the look at the energy and how it's flowing, right? Collective, here you are, up here, king of swords. Upright, honest, truth, authoritative. You're accurate. You're saying what you got to say, and it is the truth. So help you God, right? You said, no, we're not getting back together. And here they come with this bull. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but at the same time, I need you to see what I'm saying. King of Swords in the upright. That's you. You are the king of your words. You're the king of standing on business right now, collective. You said, no, we're not getting back together. But they're in the night energy. They ain't got nothing on you, collective. And I mean nothing. Look at that little tiny sword compared to your big old sword, King of Swords. They ain't got nothing on you, collective. I felt the energy of like a tit for tat. You say something, they say something. 
like Petty Betty, Petty Freddy. <laughs> this person's petty as all get out. That's probably no um, no surprise to you because it's like every time you uh, make a decision for yourself, and that's the crazy part. This person is exactly the person who will make a decision for themselves for themselves and stand on that, but they don't want anybody else to do it, especially not you. Most certainly not you, collect. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. That's how you know this is a narcissist in this reading. But yeah, we got Petty Betty or Petty Freddy over here. You said something. You were Nene Leaks. I said what I said and I'm standing on it and I'm going to bed, right? But they still being foolish and reckless. So yeah, they're going to say some petty stuff. And like I said in one of my previous readings, disregard them. Don't give them any more of your time or energy. That's literally what they want. That's literally what they crave. They bank on it. They wanted you to crave them. Nah. Nene Leaks. I said what I said. <laughs> you go to bed. Okay. Whatever they're going to do, Collective, yes, they're going to try to say some stupid stuff with their words. They're going to try to strike at you. They're going to try to say something insulting to you. Yes, be prepared Be prepared for it. Seven of Wands, be prepared to defend yourself against it, whatever it might be. But y'all notice how this is falling right along. Like I told y'all, this Nine of, Nine of Pentacles energy was not upright and honest. This is the fake out move. This is them trying to get you back in the bedroom. That's all they want because there is no love with this narcissist. I need somebody to see any collective this fake phony baby i'll be there for you i will be your peace i will be your provider it's just gonna take me time just give me some time baby you're gonna have to defend yourself because that was never real in the first place it was never real in the first place next energy two of swords well duh they're the stalemate well they're the stalemate with the fact that they have no emotions with you they just want your sacral sexual energy Y'all be careful about who y'all out here, um, you know, giving that sacral energy to. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm being serious here for a second because when you do have, you know, share energies, you create soul ties, right? And you never know who you're creating a soul tie with. Somebody created a soul tie with this narcissist. Now it's like a whole fight to get this demon off your back, quite literally a demon off your back. I also got an energy of... Incubus, succubus, and in, uh, incubus. I've also got that energy before in our previous readings. Succubus, incubus energy, because that's all this person wants. It's like a compulsion of theirs. They can't stop. Um, I also pulled sex addiction. But it's targeted at you for whatever reason. Like I said, soul tie. You, you, you did something. Your sacral energy has got this person messed up in the head. Y'all be careful who y'all, you know, creating soul ties with out there with your sacral energy, okay? Two of swords. They're a stalemate. They don't want to see what they need to do. They know they got two choices to make. You go the right way or you go the wrong way, but because they got no heart, they're choosing not to see the light. They're choosing not to make the right decision. But here comes the sun. Oh, I was about to start singing. <laughs> I'm not a good singer, but anyway outcome the sun and the upright something is being illuminated something is being enlightened to you collective this is all falling under the five of swords that uh card of defeat and them feeling weak because they're defeated so i wanted some more clarifiers we got a few cards um so just run with me here so what's being illuminated is it's of swords you have the truth like i said up here and this is gonna be my nini leaks card <laughs> i said what i said um Ace of Swords, you know the truth and you spoke the truth. When you have the sword in the upright, you not only know the truth, you speak the truth. It's communication. You said something, collective. collective. Ace of Swords, the sword of truth. This is the pure, unadulterated truth. And this sword of truth will absolutely help you see past the fake out moves that they're trying to put on you right now. Okay? Always be aware of your Ace of Swords, your sword of truth. And then this King of Swords energy, you're always going to be able to see through that, especially when somebody doesn't give a crap about you. You know what I'm saying? You know what they want. You know the game they're playing. You know they're playing Petty Betty or Petty Freddy over here just to try to get you back in some stupid mess that they were in in the first place. Next clarifier. Six of Swords in the upright. You, my friend, get to move on to calmer waters because you know what time it is. Why? King of Swords, Ace of Swords. You know the truth, you spoke the truth, and you told them the truth. I don't care how they feel about it. None of swords. Nah. 
this little dagger over here ain't got nothing on this giant old sword over here. You know what I'm saying? Six of swords. You get to move on to calmer waters. You get to move on to bigger and better things because this ain't it, hunty. Okay. Next clarifier. Here's your ex. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. What's being illuminated is who this person really is and never has changed. Obviously, the Ace of Cups on the inverse. This is your Midas Miser uh, ex who's very financially reckless. They like to control people with money. They don't like to change. They're very rigid. Very inflexible person. Right? So this person's being illuminated. They have not changed. Somebody needs to see. Next con confirmation. Here is their karmic that they most likely decided to stay with because this narcissist does not want to change. We saw that in my very last reading, Hangman in the Inverse. They don't want to change. So whoever this narcissist energy is that I'm pulling in this reading still is with their karmic. And here they go. Right here. Sun card. This is being illuminated. If your ex is a narcissist, still playing Petty Betty and Petty Freddy with you, trying to get you back in bed, they are still with their karma. This is what's being illuminated suddenly upright. They are who they are and they won't change because they don't want to. And they are and who they are and they still want their karma. It's like they, they create issues with people like trauma bonds. This one over here was psycho anyway. The Queen of Wands in the inverse is somebody jealous, vengeful, catty, a bully, insecure, immature. But he likes people like this because they're on the same time. <laughs> they're on the same time. So for these people, they love it. They're not They're not leaving. They're the picture perfect uh, couple. <laughs> they like each other like that. I like being mean to you. And I like being mean to you back, baby. We love each other. That means we love each other. Oh, this guy's sick. Narcissist. Next clarifier. Three cups in the inverse. But check it, y'all. What's also being illuminated? Three cups in the inverse. These people are so sick, insecure, immature, jealous, petty, 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 freddy. Everybody around them sees it. I got a download um, right before I recorded this. Somebody's family knows that they are like this, specifically your ex, and they keep their secret. A brother, sister, cousin, somebody knows that they are psychotic, stalker, narcissistic ex, but the family member says nothing. They keep their secret for them. They might even help them with their narcissistic behavior because, oh, that's just my bro. That's just my sis. That's just my cousin. That's family. Her blood was thicker than water. Somebody's blood relative family keeps this person's secret. They keep your ex's secret. Even though they know that they're doing all types of reckless, foolish, risky things, somebody's blood relative keeps their secret. Three cups in the inverse. These are our external partnerships outside of the family that I just got a download about. What's being illuminated is if anybody else is around them outside of their family, they're breaking up with them, like, like a friendship breakup, right? They see how crazy and, and how much of a stalker and a hacker this person is. They're like, nah, because I don't want none of that. You need to stay away from me. This is being illuminated, son. These people, whoever is around your ex and, and or their karmic, they see them for exactly who they are. And they're like, I don't want no parts of that because I don't want no parts. They're not getting success and celebration with friends, partnerships, groups. Everybody sees them for who they are. Son, it's being illuminated. Next clarifier. Three swords. <laughs> yes, your person is still heartbroken over you. I felt that yesterday. Like I said in my reading yesterday, they feel something. And I'm not going to lie about that because I felt it as well. They do feel something. But the something that they feel, like I said yesterday as well, is not the same something that you feel. They're only heartbroken because one, they can't control you. Two, they can't manipulate you. And three, they can't get you back in bed just to play you again. That's this whole narcissist game. Sun card, this is being illuminated. The way that you love and the way that they love are very different. I said that yesterday. They feel like you giving them your sacral energy meant that you love them and that you were their possession. You were theirs. It's not how love goes. This person has a very demented way of looking at love. That's why they're in the feelings right now because they got heartbroken for, for not giving true love. They broke their own heart. Isn't that stupid? 
How are you going to tell somebody you love them when all they, all you want to do is be cold as ice with them and you just want to get them back in bed? That is not love. You broke your own heart. But they do feel it now. But it's weird, though. It's their own version of love, not love itself. Next clarifier. I knew that was going to come out. Tower and the inverse. They're trying to avoid the tower. And that's, I've been seeing this, that whole lack of accountability thing. This keeps coming out. Whatever they do, whatever they keep doing, Petty Betty and Petty Freddy uh, uh, routine over here, they're trying to avoid the tower. They're trying to avoid their world coming down. You're saying what you're saying and standing on business and going to bed, right? They're, they're like, no, this can't be over. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No is a two letter, one word sentence. Accept it, but they're trying to avoid it. That's why their heart's broken. And I mean, and this is the thing, when when you resist change, when things change, what? let me just give you an example, come on. I need somebody to, to see what I'm saying. Like I gotta make this real simple. If your house catches fire, right? Firefighters got to come in and do what they got to do. Nothing salvageable, right? What are you going to do? Move back in and uh, start trying to cook dinner on your charcoal stove? What are you going to do? Uh, put a mattress in the bedroom and just sleep in there? The whole house is burnt out, right? What are you going to do? There's nothing left. All your couches are soaked with water from what the firefighters did to put out this giant old fire. This person is literally like that, in that situation. The house is gone. It's not salvageable. We are not moving back in together. We are not getting back together. Two of Cups in the inverse. You have said this, King of Swords. They're trying to do anything and everything to try to get you back. The house is gone. The relationship is gone. But Tower in the inverse, no it's not. We can still be together. But I'm telling you, Collective, Ace of Cups in the inverse, with the, the heartbreak, what they want is not true love. So whatever that you left, you should have. Six of Swords, right? Next clarifier. And because you are leaving, because you are Six of Swords moving away to calmer waters, here is your outcome, Collective. This is being illuminated with the Sun card. Six of Wands, success, victory, and celebration, and victory. This is your victory because you said what you said and you went to bed. <laughs> I'm just, literally, I'm making that rhyme. No is no, we're not getting back together. And because you said that, stood on it, you get success and victory because you are moving on the karma waters collective. Make no mistake. They can say whatever they want to say. That does not make peer out of thin air, okay? Doesn't get you back in the bedroom out of thin air either. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. You get success and victory, six of wands, because you said what you had to say and move on. You're also going to, uh, things are going to be made fair for you. I got with this card, six of pentacles in the in, uh, in the upright. Something's going to be made right. Something's going to be fair. With the pentacles, you're moving away. Somebody is going to get something to balance the situation out. And it's going to be in the form of finance, stability, foundation, you know, maybe, you you know, might be some money, might be a promotion, might be a new job, but something's going to be made right. So it's like you're moving on to Karma Waters and you get something coming right in to help you rebuild. You know, that house might have been burnt down, but you're about to move into a new one. You know, something's going to be made right for you. Next clarifier. And what's going to be made right, whatever that situation is. It's going to allow you to be back in your original energy collective. This is your final outcome. Nine of Pentacles in the in, uh, in the upright. This is your energy all day long, collective. You're single, self-sufficient, independent. You can handle your own. All nine of these Pentacles. I told you, you're getting something back to restore you. This is being illuminated, collective. Six of Pentacles. Maybe this person knocked you down to three Pentacles, right? Because of this love bomber, narcissist person. But you're getting six pinnacles back back to where you were. Single, self-sufficient, independent. You can handle your own. This is your outcome. This is being illuminated with the sun. Do not feel bad about leaving this person. I don't think you do either with the king of swords. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you feel bad about that at all. But the thing about it is, they're trapped in their own heartbreak. They broke their own heart because the only thing that they wanted to give you was their version of love. Which ain't love at all. It's just sexual energy. 
And I mean, we're all adults here, but at the same time, if that's all they want and you want something different, accept no as a two letter, one word sentence. No, they can go get it from somewhere else, right? You don't need that in your life. You're, you're ascending spiritually. You're on something different. And this is your final outcome. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. You will be single, self-sufficient, independent. You're going to get something that's going to help bring you back to your original state that will help balance this out and make it fair to you. I love this energy. I love this outcome. I told you the sun. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and get some animal totem advice so we can help our energies move on. Card four, the mountain zebra. All right. Let's see what the mountain zebra has to say. Open your eyes to the abundance of options surrounding you. Your life is full of glorious opportunities. Mountain zebras are equipped to climb steep inclines in Africa. Their hooves are sturdy and can fit in small crevices, securing their footing for safe arrival. Just as zebras can secure their opportunities and overcome obstacles, so can you. I know, that's right. Your willingness to take risks helps you to fully recognize your potential and the opportunities awaiting you. As you embark on this new path, zebra ensures your uh, safe arrival at your destination. Choose what brings you pure joy. Take actions on your dreams and be open to receive the gifts that come. What did I just say? What did I just say? Six is so hurts. Six is so hurts. I'm sorry. Way too excited about this one. Six of swords, right? You're moving, you're leaving all this crap behind. You, it wasn't for your highest good anyway. Six of swords, victory and success, six of pinnacles, nine of pinnacles. What did I just say? Thank you, mountain zebra. I, I'm telling you, it's sun. It's the sun. All this is being illuminated for you. This is your confirmation collective. Say what you got to say. Nene Licks, go to bed <laughs> and move on. That's all there is to it. Let's get a, a mystical oracle card and we'll wrap up our reading. Card 30, White Rose of Hope. All right, let's see what this says. <clears throat> we see a woman dressed in a blue gown standing somewhere in a lonely landscape. Darkness surrounds her, but a shining white rose glows like a beacon and illuminates the night. Maybe this woman is lost. Maybe she is uncertain about her feelings. Yet thanks to the light of the flower, she can find her way. White rose symbolizes hope, new beginnings, admiration, and young love. There are exciting times ahead. I, see, see, confirmation, confirmation er everywhere. Somebody needs to know it is going to be okay. The universe is going to balance this out for you. Six of Pentacles in the upright. And you're going to be right back to your energy that you were in before. Nine of Pentacles, single, self-sufficient, and independent. All right, guys, it's going to wrap up this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.